Good morning. How's everybody today? Having a great day? I hope so. Let's start our lesson with the word of prayer, okay? Father, thank you for your goodness in each one of our children. Thank you for the big person helping today. Help the kids have a good day. Help them to be happy and help them to obey with a happy heart. Work really hard, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, our verses, our first verse is Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Why don't you all stand up, okay? That'll make you, yeah, stand up. Stretch your legs, okay? First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.15, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ Jesus came into the world. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners just like me Christ Jesus came into the world John 14 6 I am the way the truth and the life I wonder if you can say the second part if that we have in the song we did it wasn't part of our verse but let's see if you can say it and we'll start learning the whole thing together okay I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, let's sing it. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, said Jesus. I am the way, I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth. I am the life, I am the life, said Jesus. I am the way, I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth. I am the life, I am the life for you. Psalm 56, 3. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid. God watches over me. This week's verse is 1 John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. Two more times, please. We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. Okay, our song. We love him because he first loved us. Christ left heaven to die upon a cross. But he rose again and lives in heaven to take away our sin. We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. Christ left heaven to die upon a cross. But he rose again and lives in heaven to take away our sin. We love him because he first loved us. Our story today is about a brother and two sisters who invited Jesus and his disciples to a meal. He'd been preaching around the countryside, but when he came to their house, to their town, 
they wanted to be the ones to feed him. So they invited him and his 12 disciples and probably other people came to the house that day too to eat. So that was a lot of work for the sisters, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So the brother's name was Lazarus and the girls, the girls were Mary and Martha. There they are. It's Mary and Martha. And so everybody, the men were talking and instead, instead of being out in the kitchen helping her sister, Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet, listening to him talk. And she was just so interested in everything he had to say. She had never heard anybody talk like that before. And I don't know if she had ever heard him before, but she had never gotten that close and never had it her house. So she just w wanted to hear everything he had to say about God. But there was her sister trying to get food ready for all those people. She wanted everything to be very special. And she didn't want to be embarrassed. And she was going, making sure she had enough food for all these people and making sure nothing burned. And, oh my goodness. But her sister wasn't helping. And that made her very impatient. And there she is. She's mixing and look at her face because she's looking out at her sister and her sister wasn't helping and she was getting more impatient and she was getting hot and more impatient and trying to get everything ready and everything just right. And she would go peek in the room at her sister and she would try to make faces at her. Come help me. But her sister did not pay any attention to her. Her sister was just sitting there on her bunkie, listening to Jesus. Yep. Oh, and, oh my goodness, Martha was just getting more and more irritated the longer she worked. And she was starting to sweat and sting and get angry. And finally, she could not take it any longer because she couldn't do all this work by herself. And finally, she went to Jesus and she said, Master, Master, can't you please talk to my sister and tell her to come help me? She's left all the work for me. Jesus said, Martha, Martha. Martha, it's not important. It's not that important. Your sister has chosen something more important than working in the kitchen. Yes, I appreciate your hard work. I appreciate everything you're doing, but you know what? You don't need all this special stuff. I'm not gonna be with you all the time. And Mary, Mary has chosen something better. Mary has chosen to come and listen. Relax, Martha. Just relax. It's not that big of a deal. I appreciate it, but the more important thing is to learn about God. See, Martha, Martha was making a meal and she wanted everything just right, right? She had all those guests. She didn't want to be embarrassed. And she wanted to show Jesus what a good job she could do, right? She wanted to say, what, look at this good job I can do for you. And maybe there was a little bit of pride in her heart. But she certainly didn't want to be embarrassed. She didn't want all the neighbors to think that she was a terrible cook. She didn't want all the neighbors to think that she couldn't make a big meal. And she started worrying. But Mary, what did Mary do? Mary just went to listen. I want to hear all about, I want to hear about God. I want to hear about heaven. I want to hear about stuff that I've never heard of before. I can cook any day. I can do that any day, but it's not every day that I can get to hear about God. It's not every day that I can hear Jesus talk. 
I'm just going to sit here today and listen. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two parts to this. One part is what? One part is when God's word is being taught, what do you need to do? You need to be quiet and listen, don't you? Because you only get to hear God's word a little bit. Maybe your mom or your daddy talks to you about God's word. Maybe it's your schoolwork when Miss Lily and I are telling you about God. Maybe it's when you come to a kuto. When you go to a kuto, when you go to the kutos, you need to sit still and listen. Should you be reading toys? I mean, reading books? We have books in the back of the, of the back of the church for the babies, but you're all big kids. You're all too big to do that because you can sit and listen. We have toys for the babies, but the babies can't listen and understand. They're too little. They can't sit still, but you're not too little. You can listen, can't you? So the next time you go to a koto, what do you need to do? You sit there right next to your mommy, and you sit very quietly, and you keep your little hands quiet and your feet quiet. And, and what do you need to do? Listen and learn. Can you understand everything? No, but that's okay. You can learn. You can listen and you can learn, right? And that's the first part. When God's word is being taught, you listen. Because if you're playing around and making noise, you're walking around, you're going to the bathroom, other people can't pay attention either, okay? So not only are you not learning about God, other people aren't either. But there's a second part to this story. Okay, there is a second part to this story, and that is this. In your home, there is a lot of work to do. Your mama, your mama works hard, right? Maybe your Grammy helps out. Maybe there's some other people that help out, but they work very hard, right? Uh-huh, plus they have to help you with your schoolwork. Mm -hmm. So what do you need to do? You need to cooperate, but you can also help. You can help wash dishes or fold fold clothes. You can pick up clothes. You can help with the little ones if you have a baby brother, baby sister. You can play with the little ones so mama can get work done, right? Because what happens if mama or whoever the big person is that day is doing all the work? Do they get impatient and angry? They do. It's not fun being the only person. And especially if children aren't obeying, especially if the big person's trying to help you and you don't want to cooperate. Ooh, do you think they get very impatient? Especially if it's not your mama. If the person helping you is not your mama and you won't do your work, ooh, they will get very impatient. And they might not like you very much. Mm -mm. This kid won't do his work. She won't obey. I don't know why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So what do you need to do? You need to do your schoolwork. Be a big helper. And you just watch the videos. Do your work. You don't need a big person to say, do that. You don't need a big person to say, oh, pay attention. Pack attention. Oh, no, no, no. You don't need a big person to tell you that. You are a big kid yourself. And you can do that all by yourself. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do when it's time for your schoolwork? You do your schoolwork. You put on that video, right? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? You watch it. And if Miss Lily says stand up, you stand up. If Miss Susan says sing, you sing. If Miss Lily says write on your paper, then you write on your paper. And that way, the big person can get a little bit of work done while you're doing your schoolwork, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? I have to help a little girl with her schoolwork, too. Mm -hmm. I do. I have work to do, too. Did you know that? I make videos for you, and I make your lessons for you. But when I'm getting lessons, you know what? There's a little girl that I have to help, too, because she doesn't have any big person to help her. Mm -mm. She doesn't, she doesn't have a mommy, mm -mm. and her daddy has to work. So there's a little girl that I help with her schoolwork too, okay? A lot of the children on this island, right, they have, we all have the same problem. And what do we have to do? Everybody has to cooperate and do their work like a big 
kid, right? Mm -hmm. So you work hard and you be a good helper with a happy face. If the big person says, okay, get busy, you say, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And the big person says, did you do this yet? And you say, no, ma'am, but I'm right now. Okay. You be a helper. Our verse this week is, we love him because he first loved us. You know, when you have a mommy and dad, you have a good person that helps you, and they love you very much, but they wouldn't do that. Okay? It's a lot of work for you. And I hope you love that. But you know what? That big person loved you before you. Maybe you. When you were just itty bitty before you were even born, while you were still in your mommy's tummy, your mommy loved you. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yep, your mommy loved you before you were even born. Right? Mm -hmm. And your mommy loves you. She washes your clothes. She fixes your food. She does helps you with your score. She does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Clean, keeps the house clean. So what do you need to do? You need to show your mommy you love her too, right? You love her back, your daddy. He works hard, right? You need to show that big person that helps you. You show them that you love them too, right? You can do that by obeying and being a good helper, okay? Our verse this week is 1 John 4, 9. We love him because he first loved us. Why don't you stand up, okay? We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. Let's sing our song, okay? We love him because he first loved us. Christ at heaven to die upon a cross. But he rose again and lives in heaven to take away our sin. We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. Christ left heaven to die upon a cross. But he rose again and lives in heaven to take away our sin. We love him because he first loved us.